In this lesson, I want to show you how symbols in the floor plan interact with the rest of the drawing. Here we have three section symbols. This is the wall section, these are both the building sections. The difference between these sections, or the symbols, is this one actually has a drawing number and a sheet number. So I did not add these in. Whenever this happened automatically for me, whenever I created a sheet with drawing number one on it. So the drawing number here is drawing one. The sheet number is A300. So if I go back to my floor plan view and actually look at those section symbols, the drawing number is 1, A300. I can click on that and it will take me to that specific drawing. So the real reason that we put these in is so that the, the person looking at the drawing can find the section. So if I wanted to see where this section was, I know that I need to turn to sheet A300 and look at drawing number 1. A lot of times, like in the example of the elevations drawings, there's more than one drawing on the sheet. So the way that I need to get these to actually have numbers, sheet numbers and drawing numbers, is to add them to a sheet. So we're just going to go back to our sheet that we created for the sections and I'm going to rename it. And actually I think I think where I'm going to put this I'm going to go to this drawing and I'm going to change this from elevations to elevations and sections. Now I can go back to my project browser and I can look at my other sections and I can drag them on here. That one's at a quarter. This one's at a quarter as well. And I basically need to go through and do some cleaning up, some, uh, making this look good, just like I did with this drawing. And the end result will look like this. So whenever everything is complete, it's going to look more like this. I'm going to have my elevations labeled asphalt shingles, vinyl siding, don't need to label them everywhere. I'm also going to go through and do some annotations for my sections. Uh, since I have, I'm going to keep them to a bare minimum because I have so much detailing in my wall section. So I could probably just leave those out of here altogether. But basically this is what the completed sheet elevations and sections is going to look like.